Hi everybody, Gerdy van Woerd here, their greatly guiding coach with episode 15 of the series on how to safely hike mountains or any other part of nature. And as you may hear, I am walking by a river, so I hope the sound is okay because I forgot my microphone, um, but I'm sure it'll work out. So tip number 15 in this 15th episode is always bring enough water and don't just bring it drink it as well so let me tell you what happened to me when i didn't have enough water for me, uh, with me um, we were going on a hike uh, with um, a couple of people and somebody else was hi was uh, guiding the group he knew the area i wasn't familiar with it i was just one of the hikers it was supposed to be about 25 degrees up in the mountains and the hike was supposed to last about uh, eight hours which was fine so because we were in mountains that didn't have a lot of surface water where we could replenish our supplies each one of us had brought a lot of it i was carrying five liters of water with me some of that was going to be for my dog, who was also along, and the rest of it was going to be for me. Now usually, I don't drink that much, I don't need so much, but on this day we got up on the mountain and it was way warmer than, than the, 30, uh, the 25 degrees that was forecasted, it was at least 30 degrees, with not a whole lot of shade. So I drank quite a bit. I let my dog drink quite a bit and uh, it seemed to be going fine. The hours went by, we were hiking, doing our thing, slowly getting closer to our goal and slowly going through my supply of water. Until my dog stopped drinking, which was not a good sign because when you're when he stopped drinking that is when he uh, felt really bad and I started to drink his water because I was running out of mine and uh, we still weren't at the cabin where we were supposed to spend the night. Turns out this hike was kind of miscalculated by the person who was guiding and it would, and it would go on to be a 13 hour hike. Now for the last four hours or something I didn't have any water anymore so I was finding out what it means to be dehydrated in a very hot environment what happened was very quickly I started to feel as though I had a very serious bout of the flu I couldn't think clearly anymore it was as though I had a high fever it was as though all the strength was um, draining from my body it was as though it was just flowing away through the bottom of my feet and at one point I actually almost fell backwards of the mountain so that's what it feels like when you don't drink enough so that's very important to stay hydrated and when you don't have enough water with you staying hydrated can be very difficult now like I said I don't drink too much when I'm hiking because usually I don't need it but what I found that for me it's easier to make sure that I at least drink something when I have what is called a water bladder in my backpack a water bladder is um, basically a bag of water that you can stuff in a, in a designated pocket of your backpack and attached to it is a hose with a mouthpiece that comes over your shoulder and then um, you attach it to one of the straps of your backpack and you can just take the mouthpiece, put it in your mouth, drink whatever it is that you want to be drinking or the amount that you want to be drinking and bobs your uncle. I found that I drink more when I do it like that. I used to have water bottles or a water bottle in my backpack but that would mean that I would have to take down my backpack, open it or take the bottle out of the side pocket wherever I had stuffed it drink something, put it back in, put my backpack back on and I was often just too lazy to do that. Now I only had that one occasion 
where I was seriously dehydrated, but that was enough for me to afterwards always make sure that I brought enough water with me. So, make sure you drink enough, make sure you have enough with you to be able to drink enough, or, or, need or and beforehand check the map or trail descriptions or both to find out if you're going to come by water sources where you can replenish. If you can't, bring extra. It's just like with anything else, always pack more than you think you'll need. So that's tip number 15. Bring enough water and not only that, drink enough water as well. As always, go there greatly. Bye bye.